Today, we're going to install some brass strips, our floating uh, brass strips, into the axle setup of this N-scale boxcar. Now, a uh, customer asked me about a video to show putting this in a passenger car. It turns out only the passenger cars I have are all Kato, which are pre-wired. But uh, our uh, decoder could fit into this car. That's the, uh, the Caboose decoder, which is $16. And you could put a rear end marker and be able to turn that on and off. And so we're gonna show you how to uh, put the brass strip onto, uh, onto the axle. Uh, there are really two steps. Uh, this is these are the brass strips that come um, in this uh, this form, and uh, we have these etched. And one of the reasons is that we we really struggle to get the right uh, uh, gauge of brass as well as the right width. And uh, there wasn't anything commercial, so we just had this etched. And what we're going to do is the first thing in this step is to just clip off uh, one. Uh, section of this and uh, there you go and so the theory is I'll do it with this big strip is that this will go underneath the axle on both sides you have to push it down just a little bit did I get it no I'm trying to do this with the camera there we go I need a tool to get that in there come on there we go all right, and then we're just gonna bend these. Now, before I do that, I'm going to solder a piece of decoder wire on the inside or the uh, top side, if you will, of this, uh, and rather than trying to solder onto this plastic and so on. So everything's here is plastic, except for, for the wheels, which are metal, and the type that you want are insulated. And there are two kinds. Most of the time, you're gonna get one wheel and one axle connected, and the other wheel insulated. That's that's how it'll work. And the idea is that we'll you put one um, one set of insulated wheels on one side in this truck, and you do the opposite here, so you get both pickups, uh, both rail pickups. All right. So I'm going to just take this brass strip out, and I'll take it back to the bench and put the wire on it. We're going to use uh, decoder wire, and because it's the thinnest little black piece, and then uh, we'll show you where to drill the hole right inside, right next to this pinion here to go up into the car body. So we put a little dollop of solder onto the brass. We're using the whole strip. Uh, these are so small. One of these strips, we could have cut it in half, but just to make it a little easier for the video, I'm gonna use this whole strip. So I take a little bit and just put a dab of solder on the brass, really, really small. And then we primed our uh, decoder wire. And you can see I just stripped it off and soldered onto here to, to get a good connection. And what I'm gonna do is just clip off really close to the end, all right? So there's just a little teeny piece of, of, uh, of wire there. You can see that, okay? Okay, so we have soldered the decoder wire onto the brass strip, and it doesn't matter if it's in an angle. I did this one at a little bit of an angle, uh, for what we're going to do. And when I flip this over, you'll notice that it faces in just very slightly towards the center of the car. That, it doesn't matter that much because there's going to be enough play, but that's, that's how it'll go into the car. We're going to slide this all through. Uh, bef now, so the next thing I want to do is I want to position uh, where we're going to do the hole. So you'll see that the axle, let me see if I can Get it like that, see if there's enough light. So here's the pin for the truck, here's the axle, and I'm gonna go right down between them and there's a set of ribs here, and I'm just gonna uh, make a mark here. Now, one of the things that uh, gets tricky on this is that when you open up the car, uh, you see this, this is a clue. You see this piece of uh, metal sticking out here? That's weight, and that will go all the way back to the, the car. And so we need to figure out, this is pretty light, so I need to figure out where that piece of metal is. Uh, otherwise, my drilling will be uh, in vain. So we've taken the car apart, and it turns out that what looked like a metal weight 
is just a detail for the car, a little uh, stand there. So in this case, there was no metal uh, weight in the car, which is an interesting thing. We may want to put a weight in there. I also want to point out, if I can get a good shot of it, that you can see around the in between the axle and the wheel, there's a little black donut. And on the other side, it, it's not. So this would be the insulated side, and it's not. Now, when you put the strip in, uh, you just do two things. We want to make sure that the insulation, insulated wheels are on the same side. So if they're on this side here, then they'll be on the opposite side there. Where you put the brass strip doesn't matter. You can put it on either side of the, the axle. And um, the other thing that we need to get to is that hole. And I marked that hole right there. And so we're going to just be able to go through and continue to very gently finish up our hole. And there we go. So now we have, I'll just clean it up a little bit. And there we have a hole going right through. Now, in this case, uh, inside the the uh, boxcar, we've got two choices. Uh, we have our decoder board, which I've used uh, quite, an off, quite often, and we'll just connect the two wires that come up from the trucks and our little brass strips to this decoder board and then some LED lines uh, to this. Now, this board has LEDs on it, so it make, doesn't make much sense inside the boxcar. So guess what? We have a nano board, and this nano board has the same function. It's a DCC decoder, uh, just no LEDs on the board, and you can connect up uh, two different sets. You can connect up, uh, let's say, a rear flashing, and then in some other car you wanted to have uh, another kind of light. So you've got two options for the lighting there. Uh, we're not going to do the decoder board today in this car. I'll just finish up showing you how to install the brass strips. Okay, now we're going to assemble this, and the first thing we're going to do is run the wire underneath this axle. Okay, so it's it's between the axle and the body, and we're going to just make it go down through the hole and pull it through. And let's move this around to this side here. And, oops, get into the camera view. I'm just pulling the wire through. And there you go. So there's the axle. Now here's the here's the copper side. Uh, sorry, solder side is going to face up. So in this case, we face it down, and we're going to go underneath the axle on this side. Oh, and notice I've put a little bend, a little curve in the the brass. That'll just help me get the the uh, brass underneath the other axle. And there we go. Okay, and I'm just going to pull it through, and I'm going to pop it up here a little bit, and just make it go. So now the wire, let's just get it out from underneath the coupler, and we'll just pull this around here, keep it safe from the couplers, and get it logged on there, and just pull it through. And we're going to put the, the solder so section on the same side of the hole as the hole. So the solder is right about where that drill bit is there, uh, maybe a little back here. I'm gonna move it to your left so that it's on the left side of the truck, okay? So just pull it a little bit more. And there we go, okay? Now there's plenty of play with the, oops, let's get that out of the way. There's plenty of play with this, all right? So no problem there. And the wire is just uh, pulled up. So the the essence of the floating strip is now that I've got them here, I'm going to pull them both up to about a 90 degree, rather firm, all right? So I'm, tuck, I'm wrapping them around the axle there. And now I'm going to clip off at the wheel. And that will give me just enough to wrap this brass around and around. All right, and there you go. And that's really, uh, that's all there is to it. And the thing is that that has less friction than any other method. Just uh, there you go. And that will stay there forever. And if you ever get need to 
uh, tighten it up or whatever you can you can pull on the brass it's it's firm enough to keep its shape but it's soft enough that you can pull at it and there is the first lead and as I said that would go to your your coupler uh, sorry your decoder <laughs> and then what we do is do the exact same thing on the other side just on the just make sure that the insulated wheels are now if you make a mistake with the insulated wheels of course your wheels will come off so you can just take them off uh, twist the brass around and unwrap the brass and flip the wheel so uh, you'll know right away your DCC system uh, will complain if there's a short between those two things but that's it and it's really uh, very little friction. That's one of the things that I really like about it because unlike the type that you glue on to the truck, uh, everything floats, even though there's a high degree of surface area because we wrap the brass around the axle, uh, it, it doesn't bind the wheels or the axle or the truck. So uh, simplicity is best. Uh, Occam's razor, if there's two ways to do it, the simplest is always the best. And that's what that's what we've got there. So there you go. That's how to install our brass floating strips in an N-scale uh, truck system.